Yo, gonna try something a little bit ambitious today. So for this one, I'm going to be using two essential oils, a French lavender and peppermint. And I've taken a screenshot of an Instagram post. Um, this is like the, hang on, who is this from? I better just give them a shout out. Outdoor Tones is the Instagram account and the photographer is Paul Watson Photography. So I've just taken a screenshot of this picture of a glacier. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but maybe you can. Anyway, I save things like this for um, on a board that I've got on my pin on my Instagram called Soap, and it's just for inspiration for colour and stuff. So I save like you know pictures of the earth and. All, there's like a, another account that I follow called Earth Focus and I save loads of their stuff as well it's just to get colour ideas so for this it's got like a petrol blue water so for that I'm going to use a tropical blue from the soap remix with some black and that should make like a nice sort of petroly blue and then in the middle section I'm going to use uh, sky blue and some more black and I'm going to do an in the pot jobby for the middle section and then on top it's like an ocean like ocean blue so I've got ocean blue here from Micah Mama it's like a turquoise and I might just use a bit of the black so if I remember to save some this is going to be tricky um, so I can just sort of use my little pipettes here to sort of sprinkle in some black to get these black lines that they've got that it, it's got going through the rock at the top well it's ice obviously but um, yeah, I'm going to call it Glacier. <laughs> How original. But yeah, I want to make this soap. Um, I just thought, let's, I wanted to do an essential oil blend. And I thought, what, how am I going to make that look like? Rather than my usual chopstick swirl, I thought, no, I'm going to try something different. So wish me luck. If it goes wrong, it's your fault. Okay, so two essential oils that I'm using are French lavender and... Peppermint Premium, and these are both from Mystic Moments, they're my favourite essential oil supplier. And just to mention, all links for all my equipment, cutters, suppliers, everything is in the description. I get messaged on Facebook and through my website over and over and over as I don't answer because the information is all there. If you just take a little look, so I'll just have to remind you each time that it's there. So I'm just going to stick blend this quickly. I've got my lie in here already. Okay, so I'm just going to pour off a bit more base. Petrol blue colour. colours with just oxide years ago and I always used to manage to get a really decent colour but using my colours you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> so we'll try and see what happens here. That and I want my bit of essential oil as well. So I'm using a ratio of those essential oils of 80% lavender and 20% peppermint because peppermint is mega strong and it gives me a headache if I use too much so I don't want to use too much so 80-20 okay that's a nice light ray so I'm going to pour that into my mould mould
Okay. So, on top of that, I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of black mica because I'm thinking if I don't make nice clean lines, it's not going to look as good. So, it's just a little dusting of it just to give us a little bit of separation between the layers. those to the side and then I want to make up some black and some pale blue so my sky blue is here and I'm going to make it in the pot as well so sky blue I don't need too much I don't want it to be too you know too strong a colour because we're looking at a glacier here, you know, they're kind of watery looking anyway, so, well it is water. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so, into these, pour off, that much. Beauty is too, is it doesn't have to be like the perfect amount in each layer because well, it just isn't in nature, is it? Okay, so I'm going to start slowly. Mix up the ocean blue, which is here. It's very turquoise. It doesn't really pick it up on camera, but it's very, very, very turquoise. Turquoise. This colour. Mix that in. Right, with the batter I've got left, I'm going to mix up some white. Okay, so there's quite a lot left in the bucket, so I'm just going to mix up white and a slight change of plan for the top. So, let's get that done. Okay, and then which is just a tiny smidge. So then I can do some random pours and some random mica lines on the very top with these two mixes. Let's see what we get this time. It's a really good job. I'm using essential oils, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? Okay, that's thickening up nicely. So, I'm going to start to place it on the top. Up 
For this picture, there's a sequence of pictures. It looks like it has cracks across the top. So it looks like that on the top. So I guess if I left it to sit up, set up a bit, we could put and drag some fork marks across the top. So I might do that. It's just going to need to set for a minute before I can do it though. So I'll leave it for five while I go and tidy up and put these things out the back to be washed up in the dishwasher. Okay, I'm going to drag my fork through the tops kind of randomly. I don't want it to look perfect. And also, I want to make some quite strong lines in there. I know, crazy, huh? That'll do. That'll do. It's kind of peeking up a bit more on that one, isn't it? Okay, I don't want to touch it now. Otherwise, I'm going to screw it. So, we'll be back for the cut on that one tomorrow. Ta ta. Okay, so we're ready to cut Glacier. So, I posted a picture of it yesterday on my Instagram. And lots of people seem to like it. I, I put the picture of it with the picture of the glacier, the top of the glacier, so you can see the similarity. Because I mean, this isn't the best soap I've ever made. <laughs> but when compared to the glacier I was trying to copy, it kind of looked really, really good. But um, yeah, so we shall see what it comes out like inside. So let's have a cut. I'm quite excited because it's. A new design that I've not ever tried before, so we shall see. Okay, well, it's not quite the same as the glacier, but it's not too bad. You see how my layers came out with that swirl. So the dark blue on the bottom has faded to sort of like a more of a purple, but it still looks all right. It smells really, really nice. Like that beautiful fresh mint. Mmm. Lavender and mint go so nice together. You get like, like I said, the majority of this is lavender because mint has a tendency to take over and I can really smell the mint. Like if anybody was to pick this up, unless you're a lavender fan and you know lavender, you would think that that was a mint soap for sure. So that's how, it, how much you, you find that it takes over any blend. Interesting, really. But it's very, very strong. I remember years ago, I made a soap um, called Bar Humbug, and I used to make it every Christmas. And the reason that I haven't made it in a long time is because the one day I made it and I had the worst headache. So I've got a bit of an aversion to peppermint. It's just, um, it's just such a strong scent. And um, yeah, I don't do too well when I inhale it. And of course, when you're making soap, you're inhaling it all. So I just don't use it very often. But in this one, it was kind of minimal. It's like I used 80% lavender in the blend and 20% peppermint, but yeah, it's still very, very strong. But this came out quite nice. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but is it ever, you know? When you try and copy um, something from nature, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. <laughs> but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And it was fun. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with this one. 
as it is and it smells lovely so I've got two batches to cut but I'll do the other one off camera I just wanted to uh, come in and show you what it looked like and then I'm going home to spend the afternoon editing videos and just being at home with Matt today probably go out for a little walk somewhere quiet later if we can get out with the dog again she likes to have two walks a day so I go with her early morning and we avoid any type of crowd at all because I just don't like crowds of people so we go out and do a nice long walk in the morning in the countryside and then usually in the late sort of afternoon we go again just so she can have a go to the toilet and then off we go again and it just she just likes another sort of half an hour at night time the morning walks a good hour a good hour's walk so she can be worn out and then she sleeps all day so that is glacier i'll take pictures at the end so you can see the cut bars and um i'll be back for i don't know what i'm making next there's uh, several on a list that i've made but i've still got loads of fragrance oils to use up so at the start of the year i said i would be using up the fragrances that i've got on hand but i've still got tons so i'm going to be doing more of that so there'll be all sorts of videos and of course i've still got all the oils from harney that you can probably see in the background when i make videos there's all these um nature's garden scents that i need to get through from harney and some of them are um brambleberry as well so i've got a lot to get through <laughs> i will see you later ta -ta.